Michael meeting Solomon Richards through Devin Weston may have been the best thing that happened to both Solomon and Michael himself. Let's get to analyzing this so that we can break down the who's and why's of this whole situation. So as we all know, Michael met Solomon through Devin Weston who at the time as far as I get it was an investor for the movie studio and Devin said at one point that Solomon was retiring and needed some help and their first meeting went really really well as Michael agreed to be Solomon's new assistant assistant and he did help Solomon a lot. He beat the shit out of Rocco, he got his actor and director back to work on the movie that they were working on, he later got rid of Rocco when he was still causing trouble, and after that even Solomon on the phone says that he wishes that they met 20 years ago with Michael agreeing. Michael then goes to the studio after this conversation on the phone and finds out that Solomon credited him on the new movie Meltdown, to which Michael is visibly shocked. but in a good way, as he states that this is the first time that he actually did something with his life. Sure, you can argue that he already made millions over the course of all these robberies and everything that he did, but now, after he got to kind of relive uh, the old days, he realized that they weren't as good as he remembered them and this time he actually wanted to end all of the robbing and killing and the reason he couldn't do it the first time and the reason that he even went back to robbing in the first place can be described in one simple word purpose he lacked a real purpose in his life and he didn't really know how to do much because he spent a majority of his adult life robbing and killing because if you remember he did his first robbery back in 1988 which would have put him at the age of only 20 so he really didn't have any real skills. Working for Solomon finally gave Michael that purpose that he has been lacking for almost 10 years and like I said he got to re-experience the old life at this point and realized that he couldn't do it anymore not only physically but he also had a family and he couldn't take those kind of risks anymore and Solomon came in just at the right time. Sure things weren't all smooth sailing but at least we know that as of 2021 Michael was still working at the movie studio and likely still works there uh, and will continue to do so for many many years. Now let's look at Solomon. Devin Weston was at the time of Solomon getting introduced to Michael, an investor or shareholder of Richard's Majestic. And as we know, Devin had a plan to tear the studio down and redevelop the whole entire place for condos, something Michael couldn't really let slide and that of course caused the fight between Michael and Devin and led to Devin's death as we know at the end of the game in the final mission. And this actually saved Solomon, probably more than he realized at first, as after ending C of the main story, Michael can call Solomon and Solomon asks him whether he knows someone available for some financing. When are we making our next movie? Soon Michael, soon. You don't know anyone with some liquidity for financing. This year Union depository thing has really stuck the market. Actually, I know a guy who's come into some cash. Let's do lunch. And as we know, Michael is at this point rich as fuck. And in this phone call, it's heavily implied that Michael would have no problem investing into Richard's Majestic. And who knows, maybe he became one of the owners of Richard's Majestic as well. But in the end, we now see how Michael and Solomon meeting was the best thing for them both. Real quick before we continue with the video, I want to ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying this video right now. And of course, like the video while you're at it as that helps me out a ton too. We are trying to get to 1500 subscribers by the end of this year, so why not help me and make that happen? As Solomon got an associate producer and an assistant, and in the end, an investor who, unlike Devin Weston, did not want to fuck him over and tear the place down, but instead he actually appreciated his work for what it is. And as for Michael, he, for the first time ever in his life likely, got a job that he actually loved doing and that he was really proud of. I like to mention this voice message to a man right after he finds out Solomon credited him on the movie. Literally just as he's leaving the movie studio, he calls Amanda because he was proud that just like he himself said, was finally doing something with his life. This new life, quote unquote as I like to call it, was one where he wouldn't have to worry about someone killing him or getting arrested or any of that sort of crazy shit that he had to deal with for all this time up till now. And unlike before, he had the most important thing that he tried to get back by getting back into the game, into the old life, and that is of course purpose. And with that said, the last thing I want to ask you guys is to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Always love to read them and reply to them as you know. Until the next video or stream, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. Uh,